So hello, hello Sagittarius and welcome back to Divine Rebel at Joplin Marley Studios in Chicago. This is your July forecast. For those of you not familiar with me or the channel and are new, I do not sugarcoat my messages and I don't have a filter. So if you have kids around or just don't appreciate that kind of language, know it's not your thing. I'm always very respectful of that, giving you the opportunity to sign off now. Otherwise, we are getting into your reading for July. Take it as it resonates, leave it if it doesn't. This is for Sagittarius suns and those with strong Sagittarian energy in their charts, depending on your chart and what how Sagittarius rules and what's in it, it might give you some specific insights into certain areas of your life. With that said, I had originally shuffled all of these on camera. First time I recorded. And then as I started getting into the actual reading of it, Someone outside was extremely loud and I'm sure you would hear their conversation as clear as you're hearing me now. And it was extremely distracting. So I started over. You may have, because nothing is by coincidence. You might have people talking very loudly, either in your environment, in people's ears that you're dealing with, or dealing with a lot of, you know, just crap from other people and what they're saying. It's just distracting, that's all it is. All you need to do is, boop, shut the door on that. Boop, quiet, quiet it out. Nope, thank you, not today, right? We have the Hanged Man with the Temperance card, top and bottom of the deck, okay? Hanged Man was on the top of the deck, and your card Temperance was on the bottom. What's going on is that you, I think, with this being on the top, the conscious mind have gone through a perspective shift, especially when it comes to your subconscious, right? Because Piscean energy is, it deals with a lot of that. The Hanged Man is a very strong Piscean energy. I think you have a new perspective in your subconscious and you're allowing it to alchemize and bring balance to the situation in your reality. I think you have a brand new beginning coming and you feel it. And it's just a matter of getting out of the mental prison and allowing, I guess, like almost like allowing karma to catch up or allowing the manifestation to catch up. So we have the three of wands with the Lovers, clarified by the Four of Cups, the Tower, clarified by the Innocence of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Judgment, clarified by the Chariot. For July, Sag. Spiritually, you're moving into your dawn. I feel like you've crossed a threshold with yourself, especially with this hanged man energy, right? Especially because 12 breaks down to a three. This perspective is giving you a spiritual destination. Okay, it's giving you a spiritual destination. The lover's card clarified by the four of cups. I think you know you're being protected in the divine mirror, okay? The eagle is representative of Archangel Michael a lot. I think Archangel Michael you, is protecting you and the people that you love. And I think you're choosing to not necessarily look at the loss of a situation because you're not focused on these three cups, but you're kind of just sitting on the opportunity. Okay, you're sitting on the opportunity. Your soul's being driven to move forward. And you're choosing to sit on an opportunity. It's almost like choosing to wait. The tower with the innocence of pentacles. Tower is always a surprise. It's a leveling of the playing field. Clarified by the innocence of pentacles. Could be dealing with a child, potentially an earth sign. It 
and wear, I hope I didn't mess up. I think you're dealing with an incident surrounding either a youth or the retracting of an offer or a very surprise offer, a very surprise offer. And the offer is so surprised that it literally starts you at ground zero with a simple, I think it's a very simple offer that completely changes your world, if that's the case for you. I'm also feeling With this seven of cups that it really does leave you super confused as to what to do super confused as to what to do You might move into a direction knowing that you're protected and the people that you love are protected and move into a situation knowing that something's being held on the back burner only to be thrown into a tornado or a volcano of a scenario. And you're like, what the hell do I do? Like, I can't see. You don't know why the universe is doing it. You don't know why you're manifesting it because you know you have this new belief in the subconscious that you're alchemizing into the reality okay to get you out of mental prisons to clear the subconscious right to get you out of mental prisons you're confused as to why the universe took something from you And it's because after the confusion comes the Ace of Pentacles. So your new belief, your new belief, whatever's manifesting, that's coming into balance, the universe is removing something from your experience. You don't know why the universe took it from you, but it's bringing in something new. It's bringing in something new. The judgment card with the chariot. If this, let's just say for example, because the chariot can sometimes be like an automobile, this might be you getting a new car or resurrecting a car, right? Because the judgment card could be resurrection. And it's similar, you can see the hanged man here. See how it has this up here and so does this card. They're mirroring. Your perspective is manifesting in a very beautiful and transformative way when it comes to miracle and divine intervention, which is also the chariot. Really got like a two-headed pegasus here. Whatever the universe is removing from your life is because it's bringing in something to replace it with better. Don't be confused, don't be upset. Don't be upset. Whatever it is that leaves, that's fine, especially if it's an item or a thing, just because we have coins. Tangible 3D object. Like I said, it could be dealing with an earth sign, a youth. Or if you went after something and you didn't get it like you thought you would. You don't know why you didn't get it like you thought you would, and it's upsetting. The universe is like, don't you see, I have a better way. I have a better way to bring you in your new beginning. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna bring this to light, and you're gonna get this help. I feel like you're getting, like the divine is literally helping you, Sag. I'm getting that with the chariot card. The divine is literally helping you. Divine miracle. It's going to be one of those things you can't miss. Someone or something helps you transform 
into your most beautiful self where everybody else doesn't realize their beauty and they're flying upside down i think you're realizing yours i think you're realizing just how beautiful your perspective shift was it's almost like it started out as a bat and these temperance energies came in with all that color and all that light and you turned out a butterfly like it's one of those things that makes no fucking sense that's why you're confused right because it does make no sense and then the universe pulls one of its crazy magic tricks for July. Let's pull a guidance card. I have Crystal Mandala Oracle. So Spirit, please, what do you want Sag to remember throughout the month of July to help them through this blessing? Because it does feel like a blessing. It feels like a, a very beautiful blessing. What advice do you want to give Sagittarius and those with strong Sag in that chart? Sacred play, Angel Cabriel, and Polychrome Jasper. The universe has a reason for everything. Again, card number seven, the number and vibration of divine miracle and divine intervention. The universe has a reason to do what the fuck it's doing. Is taking something from you, it's okay. It's okay, don't freak out. It's okay if you can't see what's going on. You're in the, you're in the divine's hands. Archangel Caliel, or Angel Caliel, card number seven. Let me read some for you. Angel Caliel. And Polychrome Jasper says, We bring you the gift of sacred play. We enter your heart bringing joy and an ability to have fun, to laugh, and to see the silly and playful side of life, and to be entertained by the wonderful spectacle of life. When you know how to look, you will see the joyful hand of the Creator behind so many of the people, places, and things you see every day. You will begin to feel the creator's delight in creation, and you will feel laughter deep in your soul, a joyful connection with the universe as you realize that even in its strange and sometimes dark mystery, life has a brightness and delight to it, a sense of humor and a quirky, amusing, enjoyable beauty. We know there is a great joy inside of you, and we will help you to reconnect with that joy now. So even in your most arduous challenges, will not diminish your capacity to feel the light of your spirit and take delight in your life. Go deep into the truth of your pain and bring love to those wounds to allow a healing current to transform and free you from the past. It takes maturity to live with depth, to look beyond the surface and to refuse to give up on your journey when something difficult is asked of you in order to grow. To succeed on the spiritual path, you will need this willingness to enter the darkness and liberate the love from within yourself, opening the darkness up to receive divine light. Although there can be great joy in the resolution of such suffering, during the process itself, there may not seem to be much joy at all. Okay. Sag, if you're catching this in divine time, the universe is preparing you for a shocker. Preparing you for a shocker. And that's okay. Because the universe is also telling you that despite the shock, the reward of being able to move through it, to accept and hold gratitude for it, even if you don't understand even if it feels uncomfortable and painful. That's okay. Because the universe wouldn't take anything from you that was intended for you and meant for you. And it certainly wouldn't take from you and not, and leave you, and leave you shortchanged, leave you hanging, leave you without. Not when you're in your light, okay? Not when you're shifting perspectives and testing your beliefs. Spirit is asking you to be mindful of 
of your truth and allow the truth to exist and be displayed in whatever way it needs to be. Play with the divine. Nothing's always, nothing's always perfect. We're getting you out of mental prisons. And I'm hearing for the long term. You're getting out of long term mental prisons. So trust whatever it is going on now that's helped bringing your caged mind into a state of freedom. Okay, allowing your mind to a state of freedom. So I hope that helps. Until next time, Sag. Much love. Divine Rebel signing off. Remember always to love each other and love yourselves. Bye, everybody.